Is that a person? No, what is that? Oh, it's Mr. Bucket. What are you doing here in the day? Oh. He wasn't lying. I didn't die and um, wait, what? How are you a good guy? What's up guys, welcome to Mr. Bucket Told Me To, uh, a game where you're stranded on a deserted island and just making the best of the situation. Look, I'm sure nothing weird is gonna happen. Now it's very important for you guys to understand that even though we are stranded on a deserted island, we're not alone, okay? We've got friends, like Mr. Bull over here. Good morning, Mr. Bull, how are you doing today? <laughs> Wonderful weather we're having. That's true, the sun is very bright today. Oh, sure, you know I love your jokes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, Mr. Bull, what do you get when a horse, a dog, and a black guy walk into a bar? <laughs> I'm not sure I appreciate how your sense of humor is evolving, Mr. Bull. That was a little insensitive. <laughs> well, come on. Oh, today uh, we've got an oasis to plunder uh, under that big tree on the west end of the island. Yeah, we're gonna get ourselves some water, even though you don't seem to drink all that much. You guys can understand Mr. Bull, right? Like, I know sometimes his accent confuses people. Mr. Tal never seems to understand what he's saying. I'm afraid I once again require your services, Mr. Tal. Well, a man does have to poop. Haha, <laughs> good one. I really appreciate it, Mr. Tal, seriously. I know, I know, I'm gonna make sure you have a day off soon, I promise. I'm actually not sure how taking turns would work. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Mr. Spear, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, we will not be referring to Mr. Tal as the poop rag. That's inappropriate, okay? We're all family here. Only compliments, okay? Just try your best. Mr. Spear, you're looking sharp today. Something like that. Oh, you like it? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I came up with it when I was showering yesterday, actually. Well, I don't shave either, and I think I'm holding up well, don't you? Oh, that's a very kind offer. I, I like my beards, but I'll genuinely consider it. Oh, catch some fish? Well, sure, ready when you are. Oh, right. Well, the whole gang's together. I uh, haven't seen Mr. Bucket anywhere, but... I guess we should get ourselves some food, some water, and take a dump. No, Mr. Spear, we're not gonna talk about the plane crash, okay? It was weeks ago, and no one could have predicted that it'd be full of snakes. Look, like, right now, we need to find ourselves food and water. And I would imagine your fish are probably gonna be in the ocean. <laughs> so I think we should head towards a large tree with an oasis at the base of it. I don't know if this is necessarily west or not, but maybe we can stop and ask for directions. Hello, Mr. Berries! I don't suppose you guys know whether or not this is westerly. You guys got anything to give me? Other than the squirts? Oh no, we're definitely gonna want to find Mr. Bucket sooner rather than later. Give me an hour, I'm gonna look like an upside down fondue fountain. I mean, it's not a very big island. That's about as big as a tree gets, so I have to hope that we can actually find ourselves a bathroom stall. Uh, oh, Mr. Relieve Yourself! I didn't even recognize you! <laughs> yeah, I'll be back to give you the Baja Berry Blast in just a minute. I was going to say I'm hoping we can find ourselves an oasis, unless Mr. Bull was full of shit. Usually that's Mr. Tal's job. <laughs> I'm really hoping that right there is fresh water. It looks like it's sequestered from the ocean. Yeah, okay. Is this anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay, uh, Mr. Bull, if you would. There we go. That's the good stuff. <laughs> you see, surviving isn't all that difficult. Mr. Spear, you're the resident defense expert. Should I be worried that the coconuts here are the size of yoga balls? <laughs> I don't really want to crack that open. I feel like it could have a xenomorph inside. I just want to go fishing. I would imagine if we hit up the ocean, we gotta find fish eventually. Right? There's no way it'd be this easy. 
Right? Like, they're just swimming on the surface in place. I feel like this is a trap. <laughs> like there's a shark just out of sight, hiding in an ocean camouflage tent with his son, you know, just waiting to kill me and skin me and mount my ass on their cabin wall. If things go down, Mr. Spear, remember, I introduce you to people. Okay. So far, so good. And we eat? Okay. That went better than expected. I really need to poop now. Let's see if we can find our way back to Mr. Relieve Yourself. I don't know if I'll be able to, though. Looks like I'm running out of energy. Please let me find my way back. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Don't let me pass out before I go to the bathroom. I do not want to wake up in that puddle. Where is it? There's the giant tree. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Marco! Mr. Relieve Yourself? Could you maybe be Mr. Show Yourself for once? At oh, thank Christ. I don't have any energy, but hopefully I don't need energy to make this happen. No, Mr. Spear, me first, not you. Oh, that's the good stuff. Okay, now, uh, I'm guessing I won't actually pass out? I should probably go home and sleep, though. It looks like my health has gone down. No, no, no. Actually, my health went down because I'm supposed to use Mr. Tao. Oh, now I passed out. I tried to wipe my ass with Mr. Tao and I passed out. Well, isn't that just great? <laughs> I don't even want to think about what kind of island animals may have licked me clean while I was asleep on the ground. <laughs> you guys watched over me, right? Guys? Where is everybody? That's, uh... Weird? No. Don't tell me that they're having a powwow without me. Are you kidding me? Just because I pass out with a poopy bum doesn't mean you can't exclude me from the group. You like to think someone's your friend, and then they go and do something like this. I called you my family. <laughs> this hurts, especially from you, poop rag. Oh. Hi, Mr. Bucket. <laughs> I was wondering where you were. Here we are again. Fire and water and night. Okay. There was a time when you'd use me to put out these flames. Oh, you weren't a poopin. You were the resident firefighter. Then you killed me. Weird how that works, huh? I don't remember killing you. That might be the island madness, though. You know, Mr. Spears been trying to talk to me about that, but I'm a little sensitive. What are you talking about? You killed me and replaced me with a bowl. Oh, don't tell Mr. Bowl. That would break his little bowl heart. I was your best friend and you drew a smiling face on a bowl while my carcass rotted in the sea. You're going to sacrifice something tonight, Michael. You're going to throw one of your friends into the flames, or you're going to die. Or I could throw you in the flames for back-talking me. You are a cracked bucket, after all. I'm not doing this. It's not going to be hard. You've already done it. Remember, you did it to me. Did you float around in the ocean, or did you burn to death? Because you got some mixed stories here, bud. <laughs> you just have a witness now. Okay, hey guys. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna see if we can flick Mr. Bucket in real quick. Take as much time as you need. Someone's going to die tonight. I don't mind waiting. And that someone's not gonna be you. Wonderful! You guys have to know that I didn't want it to be this way, right? Like, we're, we're family still, nothing is gonna change. But at the same time, Mr. Bucket is literally scaring the crap out of me right now. And I'm gonna need Mr. Tao to clean up that crap. And probably Mr. Spear to defend myself from him. Which means, Mr. Bull, you're gonna have to mumble your way into the fire. I'm sorry! I don't suppose 
that satiated your bloodthirst? Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna go back to bed now. Maybe I'll just wake up and Mr. Bull will still be gone, damn it. I was hoping it was just a nightmare. You never know what's in those berries. You guys aren't gonna hold it against me, are you? I didn't have a choice. Well, that's abrupt of you. No offense taken, I'm just not used to you being this assertive. Uh, I need you, Mr. Towel. Well, you're also a valued companion. No, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we can't leave, Mr. Towel. I, I, I think he'd find us. I mean, we had no idea where he was yesterday. We have no idea where he is today. Batman vanished behind me just a second ago, so... I think you're gonna have plenty of terror poop to clean up. Mr. Spear? Are we still on talking terms? Yeah, it's okay. We're both alive, Mr. Spear. We're okay. Well, it's gonna be hard, but we've been through worse, right? Like, like the plane crash. Maybe we could talk about the plane crash a little bit now. No, I, I don't think I've had to fight a ghost before. No, I don't think you've had to fight a ghost before. Mostly fish. We'll fish and we'll, we'll, we'll survive. We always do. Not without a fight, Mr. Spear. Yeah, that's right, let's see him bring it on. I'm not afraid of you, Mr. Bucket. I don't suppose he's just hanging out over there in the day, is he? I rarely go over to that end of the island. Right now, I need to worry about passing out with poop on my bum again. I'm thinking we're gonna need to fish and we're gonna need to use the bathroom and wipe ourselves, but I don't know how we're gonna get water without Mr. Bowl or Mr. Bucket. Can I just make a third one? What about like Mr. Pot? Oh, there's Mr. Bucket. Hi, are we cool? Are are you? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's giving me all the bad kind of goosebumps. Are you gonna watch me poop? Because <laughs> oh, he's even floating. Love me some big stupid. Possibly diseased fish. There's no way these things are healthy just doing what they're doing. <laughs> All right, I'm full of poop now. But I still need to get water. Oh, that's probably what the coconuts are for. Right? Like, if I crack this open, then I get a substitute, Mr. Bull. I see. <laughs> Is it working? I don't think it's working. Uh, do I need to? There we go. Okay, no, I, I got it figured out. We're gonna need more of them, but that's fine. So there's a. Whoa. You think we can hide under here for Mr. Bucket? Probably not. You guys don't understand how freaking paranoid I am right now. Like, I, I'm just waiting to turn around and have Mr. Bucket floating at head height and being like, "Okay, we're done now." <gasps> uh, okay, I, I've I've got to hurry up and get this done before I pass out again. Mr. Relieve Yourself, you've got to be nearby. Hi, Mr. Buckets. Do you want to watch? Sure. You know what? If, if that's your kink, then then why not? I'm just going to Mr. Relieve Myself. Mr. Relieve Myself? Oh, please tell me I can Mr. Relieve Myself. Come on now. Don't, don't be... I don't have enough energy. How do... How do I get enough energy? It's, it's not going to let me wipe. I don't have enough energy. <gasps> oh, this is your doing, isn't it? I don't know how to get more energy, other than going to sleep. So that's twice now. I I'm gonna have it absolutely caked on to my entire rear end. <gasps> okay, I need to prioritize eating, and then pooping, and then drinking. I know normally you would prioritize water in a survival situation, but here we are. Well, I never did get a chance to go over there and see what's going on during the day, but I, I guess it doesn't matter if Mr. Bucket is just floating around after me. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Where is my bed? Okay, well, at least I'm not gonna pass out today. We are, no, I'm gonna pass out, damn it. Let's not assume the worst is gonna happen, okay? Maybe this is Mr. Bull's Viking funeral. You know, everyone's coming together and we had a hard time telling Mr. Bucket no. 
Oh, how do you even start this? I don't understand. Hello there. Another night, another sacrifice. Did you miss any of them yet? Go frick yourself, Mr. Bucket! You've been stranded on a desert island for 13 years, Michael. You didn't forget how to say fuck. I thought it had only been weeks. Two friends left. Throw one in the flames and live another day. It's simple, just the way you like it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, technically, I haven't even used Mr. Towel yet. So he's still perfectly good. The berries have been fine to me. Oh, I'm really sorry about this, Mr. Spear. It has to be done. I saw you disappear that time, Mr. Bucket. I know how you're pulling this off with your little ninja vanish. It was weird. I don't know where he went, but oh, fine. I'm just going to go back to bed. I don't understand why after 13 years, all of a sudden, Mr. Bucket is pissed. <laughs> what is his problem, Mr. Tao? Mr. Tao, please tell me you've pulled it together. Okay, I need you to be strong. I've tried! I'm still not sure I understand it, but I've tried. He's very angry, so he's been using all of you to get to me. If I care about you so much, why do I use you to wipe my butt? That's a very pointed question, Mr. Tal. Unfortunately, you're very absorbent. I'm sorry too, buddy. I mean, technically I haven't used you to wipe my butt. I'm certainly gonna try though. Let's see if we can find ourselves some berries. Do you think Mr. Bucket is still hanging out with Mr. With leave yourself freaking Mr. Tree, so help me God. Maybe they're in cahoots? It'd make sense. I definitely want to make sure that we top everything off. I'm going to need my strength if I decide to try to choke Mr. Bucket with a poop towel. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Towel. You know, Mr. Spear was right. So two ways about it. That it? We're pretty full up now, so let's go see if Mr. Bucket wants to watch me take a dump again. Is he over there? I can't quite tell. I think he's gone. Okay, he's gone. Where do you think he went? Mildly concerning? Why was he hanging out here yesterday and we haven't seen him any other day? All right, well, we will Mr. Relieve ourselves, and then we can wipe. That did not help. Wiping again. Still not helping. My health is incredibly low. Mr. Tao, you don't seem to have any poopy on you. There it is. Okay, now we're somewhat clean and out of energy, which means I don't get to drink today. Really? I used all of my energy wiping my butt thoroughly, and now I can't bother to stick my head underwater? I don't think I have enough energy to walk back. I'm gonna go see where Mr. Bucket is. Screw it. We're gonna go over here during the day. Hopefully I won't pass out. I haven't explored this end of the island. There's gotta be something interesting over here. Right? Oh, nope. I'm gonna pass out. Screw me. I think it's about time I show Mr. Bucket who's boss here. I'm the king of this island. I should flip you over and deposit my berries into you. You know how this works. Only one friend left. Take me instead. I excuse me? You can take me instead. Just let him go. I love Mr. Poop Tal. He's my best friend. No. No, 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 no. You aren't doing this. You will not pull some noble bullshit in the face of your own judgment. You are here now because of everything that you are and were. You're a selfish, oblivious mess talking to debris at the end of the world to convince yourself that someone can love you. I hope you remember that when you send your final friend to hell. I wanna poop in you so bad. Get it over with. Burn them. Oh man, I mean, do you have any idea how bad this is gonna smell? I literally just went and did the thing He is exploding. I'm not losing my mind. Also, I'm really sorry about that, Mr. Towel. Are you still with us? Probably best that he isn't. I really don't want to be haunted by a poop towel. Okay, back to bed. 
I'm ready to pass out from exhaustion just from cracking open this colossal coconut. I don't know if I can afford to really take drinks right now. <gasps> or if there's a hole in this coconut. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to have to do. I don't want to fill up all the way because I'm going to lose everything. I think there's a bush around here I can use to wipe myself. Pretty sure I saw a different kind of leaf. There has to be a substitute for Mr. Tao. He was just the very absorbent better option. Um, hello, Mr. Axe. Can we be friends? I could really use a strong ally right now against the Bucket Uprising. When you pulled me from the wreckage of that plane, I thought you were saving me. Um, when was that? It's been like a baker's dozen years. <laughs> then you slammed my face into a tree. I think I broke on the third swing? Second swing? It was a pretty pathetic attempt, is what I'm trying to say. I, I, I was never great at chopping wood. That's really a you problem, though. If you're breaking uh, on a tree when you're a fireman's act, yeah, you know what? I'm not taking blame for this. I am sorry, but I'm not taking blame for it. When I broke, you just left me on the sand. Does that sound like sorry to you? Listen, I just wanted to come over here and wipe my butt without judgment, okay? Mr. Wiping Leaf is gonna help me. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Wiping Leaf? Okay, well, that's my energy for the day. Let's see how far we can get over here before we pass out again. <gasps> I could try running, but I don't think that's gonna help all too much. I suppose I can run away from our problems. Nope, of course not. It's only an island. It's what I believe to be the final day. I've got very little food, very little water, no friends, and a dirty butthole. What more do you want from me, Mr. Bucket? Huh? Go ahead. You're really alone now. Well, you're here. Maybe I could toss you in? Hmm, until we're finished, do you trust me, Michael? Um, no? Okay, you need to walk into the fire, Michael. It won't kill you. I'm not allowed to do that. But you can be seared. And then, we're done. No more bonfires. You can go back to your camp. But I don't recommend it. You've come too far to just die, don't you think? Really? I just said that I don't trust you. <laughs> then again, maybe he actually is on my side? Oh, so I can go back to my camp, but he says I'll die if I do that, or I can walk into the fire. C can't imagine how either is gonna help me, but l let's see what happens if I... Please tell me I didn't just die again. I'd be really upset. Surviving in this is difficult. Okay. Well, this doesn't look like death. <gasps> We've got some torches. Don't remember setting those up. You know what? I think I may have actually survived. Again, I, I could use something to eat. I could use a drink. I could use a bidet and maybe a friend or two or a sharpie and some inanimate objects that I can call Mr. Blank, but I think on the whole, no pun intended, we're doing all right. The fire's gone. Is that a person? No, what is that? Oh, it's Mr. Bucket. What are you doing here in the day? Oh. He wasn't lying. I didn't die and um, wait, what? How are you a good guy? The raft is for you. Are you saving me? No, no, I don't think I am. I'm scared, Mr. Bucket. <laughs> That's a natural response, Michael. As much as I'd like to try, I can't fix you. This island isn't yours anymore. I'm trying to say you're the king of the island, smart guy, Mr. Crack in the head, you know, the bucket that lived. So, you're gonna leave. Goodbye, Michael. May your last trip be the one you need. Is this supposed to be some metaphor that I jumped in the fire, killed myself, and now I'm, I'm gonna, 
you know, head out to pasture. Okay. Mr. Bucket, I still don't understand what's happening right now. Hey, Mr. Bucket, I don't suppose you had a plan to make this thing move faster than the speed of smell, did you? Because I've been on it for like 15 minutes and I could probably swim back to shore. <laughs> At this rate, I am without a doubt gonna die. Um... What? Despite the very reasonable assumption that reality television is all faked, it was by complete accident that the crew of Trailblazers American Heartland stumbled upon the makeshift hovel of Ira Nelson. The seven years following his disappearance had seen his name transition from pressing concern to local tragic memory. Despite Ira and the crew's mutual shock, he was far from the antisocial, uncommunicative wild man you might expect. He eagerly showed them his home and collection of makeshift tools. Each had been constructed out of the wreckage of his craft, uniquely named, given a crude likeness, and positioned to serve both a functional and decorative role. Mike the Bucket was also the town's firefighter. Maurice the Knife, constructed out of bits of metal wrapped in the remains of shoes, was a police officer. Though initially eager to return to the civilized world, Ira once again receded from the public eye after just a few weeks. When the camera crew tried to contact Ira about a follow-up series, they found him nearly dead of an attempted suicide. When doctors would later ask him why he had done it, he stated that he, quote, abandoned his friends, end quote. When they asked if he was aware that he was just painting faces on garbage, his only answer was, quote, at least their faces didn't keep changing, end quote. Very interesting. Except they got a bunch of the details wrong, or I got them wrong. I am believing the word of a bucket, after all, but he called me Michael. He said I had been there for 13 years, not Ira Nelson for seven. I'm not 100% sure what happened. I'm just upset that I burned all my friends. But you know, I think that's going to be it for Mr. Bucket Told Me To, guys. Really interesting little game. You know, story-based, it's kind of like survival, but it's a twist on it, and it's kind of like horror, but it's not really spooky, and I just love stuff like this. If you guys spot any other random weird games like this, be sure to leave a comment with some recommendations. You know, that's how I find a lot of the stuff. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more stuff like this, and maybe I'll return to have more inanimate friends soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.